Fallout 4 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello and welcome back to more Steven Plays Fallout 4. On the last episode, we finally, finally, after 100 episodes, went into the Diamond City stands. We have been to Diamond City. We have not walked up some stairs, but we finally did it last episode. And in the process, we went to the Colonial Tap House and we met Henry Cook and Paul Pembroke. Paul Pembroke's wife, Darcy, visited the bar very often. Cook took a liking to her and started sleeping with her, even though he knew that she was a married woman. Paul did not appreciate that and asked me to handle it. So I handled it. Henry agreed that he would no longer sleep with Darcy. So that was good. But Paul wanted reparations, so Henry decided that he could make it right if we, I guess, robbed these chem dealers and earned some money to give to Paul. I guess. I, I'm not entirely sure. Honestly, this entire part has been a little weird. And I'm almost wondering if maybe I shouldn't have just beat the crap out of Cook back in the bar. But now we're here, so we're here. Um, at the end of last episode, I asked if I should go down there and talk to the guys, or if I, said, if I should just start shooting. And most of you voted that we should just go talk. But also, it makes sense, because I realized, and you, some of you told me this, these guys aren't hostile. And since they're not hostile, if we start shooting at them, it will count as murder? And that would be a problem, because uh, Deacon would not be very happy with me. So we're actually going to go down here and just have a conversation and see where this goes. Last time I double on Jeff Relax. the job. I'm sure he'll be here any minute. You better get the fuck out of here if you know what's good for you. Um... Cook sent me. He has a message for you. Cook told you about this? Where the hell is Cook anyway? What is this, Nelson? Cook couldn't make it, so he sent me instead. The fuck he did? Trish, kill this asshole! <coughs> oh god, ow, ow, ow. There's, uh, there's quite a lot of people, and they have guns. Jesus, okay, hold on, hold on. Let's give myself a, st a stimmy pack. That guy went down. In the head! Boom! I missed the first one. Second one, Grit Jones! Ow, my gun, I lost it, it flew in the air. Ow, Jesus. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Interrogate Trish. Hi. Uh, you don't have to kill me. I won't talk. I swear. Give me a reason not to kill you. I don't need a better reason than to shut her up. I'll tell Morosky it was Gunners, okay? You can trust me. And uh, uh, I'll give up Morosky's chem lab. This here? This is nothing compared to what he's got stashed there. Hmm. Go on. Where do you think these chems come from? We've got a lab. Right here in the Commonwealth. But you'll never find it on your own. Not without my help. Why do I need your help to find this lab? Because first, you don't know where it is. Second, even if you did know where it was, it's heavily protected. Third, even if you can get past the security, you won't be able to get into the lab without my password. But I'll tell you everything you need to know if you promise to let me go. Tell me what you know first. Well, okay. I'm trusting you, right? The lab is in the old Forley fish packing plant. On the waterfront in South Boston. What's so secure about that? The place is overrun with feral ghouls. Which don't even look twice at my crew. Cause they're all ghouls like me. My idea, by the way. Why wouldn't the feral ghouls bother you and your crew? What? You don't know? Ferals don't bother us normal ghouls. I don't know why. Maybe we taste bad or something. But they're just for cover anyway. The real security is a system of tripwires that have to be triggered in exactly the right order to open the door to the lab. You never even know the lab was there when the door is closed. So how do I get in without hitting all the tripwires? With a password, which I can give you. There's a terminal that will bypass the tripwires and open the door to the lab. So I have your promise, right? If I give you the password, you let me walk? 
And you promised to not tell Morowski that I had anything to do with this? Yeah, yeah, of course. I already told you. After I leave here, I've never heard of you in my life. The password is Applejack. There. Now you've got everything. And I'm completely screwed forever. I hope you can live with that. Sorry, Trish. Nothing personal. Oh, my God. Wait, what? Okay, um... Apparently, they're gonna fight. Sure. Um... Interesting. This is... Like, we're not involved. Like... Neither of them are hostile to us. So... I don't know if I should be shooting either of them. I guess I'll just let them have their kerfuffle. Sure. Uh, this is... This, this whole thing has been weird, man. Like, it... All it was, was Cook was scum. Cook was scummy, because he was hitting on a married woman. And the husband was like, can you please deal with this? And I was like, sure. And in the process of dealing with it, I somehow got roped into coming out here and killing a bunch of dudes. And I don't care about Trish, I don't know her, I don't care about any of this junk. But, and I was willing to le let her live. But now... They're having a shootout, although, to be honest, it kind of looks like Trish is winning. This is weird. Also, I think this is probably the first time that we've ever seen two NPCs duking it out to this extent, and they're neither of them are hostile to us, so we're just watching this play out. Like, I have no idea who's going to win this fight. And it looks like it's going to be Trish. Um... Good, good luck, both of you, I guess? There's a lot more blood coming out of the Cook than there is coming out of the Trish. I think, think Trish is better at this gun thing. Deacon, where'd you go? Okay, you, oh, you just want to sit down? I'm sure we could just sit and wait this out. Oh, Cook is making a move. Cook, um... That's such a weird thing to say. Cook, here's your, here's your problem, buddy. She's got a far-range weapon. She, she can shoot you. You've got a shotgun. you got to be close range. You don't understand how guns work. Where are you at now? Still pretty low. Trish has got you by about double, buddy. Sorry. I mean, you're... The odds of you winning this, uh, this battle is, uh... It's pretty low. you got to get a lot better at, uh... A lot better at this. You're not gonna win this. Yeah, but she probably is. And to be honest, I don't like you very much, so I don't really care if you die. But it just seems really odd, because, you know, I was the one that was called out here. Oh, the, oh. She's, uh, she's getting out of here. Which, I mean... Enough, it's weird. Sometimes I just want to pop a stealth boy and bug out. Not really an option now. Oh, she only walked that far. What, what the... Trish? Trish, oh, no, no, Trish, okay. Right, I guess I don't need her now. God, this is weird. This whole thing has been really weird. So Cook's dead. I'll be with you in a minute. Huh. Well, huh, that, I mean, I just... I don't know, this, this whole situation was really bizarre to me. But, I guess it worked out in the end because this guy's dead, right? Take that. Alright, so who else did I kill? I killed... Nelson. Nelson's dad can get into these people's homes, which is kind of cool. Here's all the chems. There are a lot of chems. Holy crap. I'm over-encumbered with chems. Don't think that's ever happened before. Um, uh, Deacon? Hey. Tell me what you want. What's mine is yours, pal. And likewise, and I'm gonna make you carry a lot of drugs. Pre-war money and a used oil can, which is not very heavy. I need you to hold these, please. If you don't mind. You can hold on to the death claw egg. If you get mauled to death, it was never my fault. Huh. Well, not really... Like I said, this is such a weird mission. Like, the only thing that came out of it is some people from Diamond City died. Trish is ruined for life, and me and Deacon are just standing here wondering what the heck happened. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway, let's, um... I 
guess let's check this uh, this thing. Also, by the way, Nuka World hadn't actually been installed. I just realized, so I fixed that. So between episodes, I installed it. Now this showed up. Anyway, Diamond City Blues um, gain access to Morawski's Chem Lab. I persuaded Paul Pembroke that I should get the entire take from the Chem Deal ambush. What? No, I didn't. I wanted so much more from my life than this. Ugh. <clears throat> Don't let my husband drag you into any of his nonsense. You don't say anything different. Uh, Paul. Cook won't be bothering Darcy anymore. Good. I knew you could handle him. Oh, and I managed to scrape together what I promised. Here. It was worth it to get Darcy back. So, what happened? Did he give you any trouble? <laughs> I had to kill him. Um, I didn't kill him. I mean, I, I didn't kill him. I... Trish killed him. He kind of killed himself. Uh... Hmm. No. He, uh... Listened to reason. Okay. I don't care what you had to do. Just as long as he leaves Darcy alone from now on. Anyway, thanks for your help. I'll, uh, see you around. <laughs> Not likely. <laughs> um... Good luck. I hope it all works out. Thanks. Okay. Have a good one, Paul. No hey, Paul. <laughs> I think you've listened to me drone on enough. And that was that. Such a weird... Such a weird quest with a weird outcome. But I guess there's a little more to it than, than, than this, because we can go get these chems, so... Let's do that. Um, it also says I persuaded Paul Pembroke that I should get the entire take. I never talked to Paul Pembroke. So apparently there's an even different outcome, I guess, if you talk to Paul before you go to the street. Which is interesting. Um, alright, so let's see here. Okay, apparently we've been here before? That's convenient. So we can warp straight here. Welcome to the fish plant! Is that it, right there? Oh my- are you serious? Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Takes care of the dog. Is that all of them? Kind of weird to warp to a location and then there's a suicider like, Hey, what's up? Do you want to play? And I'm like, no, I would like to not see you ever again. Do with this doggy and good night. I don't know if I've actually been inside the fish plane. I've walked around outside of it for sure. I don't know if I've ever went inside. Super Mutant, take your stuff. There's people upstairs. I don't really want to bother. Doggone it. Do, do I... I mm, yeah, sure. Should I hit him? Critical. And it's still not even that much damage. He's got, a, like, an assault rifle or something up there. You know what? I, I don't care. I really don't care. I don't have much ammo for this weapon anyway. I think it's time to... Move on to something else. When I have more shotgun ammo than I have, um, combat rifle ammo, then something has happened. Let's go to, uh, let's go to Harry. Always love carrying around this weapon. So this is the, uh, four-leaf fishback. Oh, wait, have I went in here? I was in here for something. I don't remember exactly what. But I was in here for something. And these don't do anything, right? Yeah, I've definitely been here. It's just been long enough that I don't remember exactly why I was here. Oh, can I- hold on. Before I do that, is it possible to get to the roof... ...from outside, so I don't even have to go inside, because I've been... Um... Oh god! I did not even see that thing. And now I do. Uh, boom boom. I missed. Oh, he hit me, but now he's dead. But he got a hit on me. God, that scared me. The enemies don't have to be necessarily be powerful. They just have to catch you off guard. That's frightening. All right, let's go up here. Oh, Jesus. He hit me again. Doggone it, I'm getting punched by all the ghouls today. Where'd that one even come from, man? Don't appreciate this. Are there more? I don't know, but I'm standing on the rads. Okay, so I think that I don't even have to go inside, which is good, because, once again, I've- I've been inside before. There's really no reason to deal with that. Come on, baby. 
That was a good- that was a good shot. I only have 40% chance. With a beautiful bullet. Oh, I didn't kill it! There we go. Are there more up here? Oh, there's more up here. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, I didn't kill- God! Ow! Ow! Dirtbag? I need to reload! Come on, grit. Thank God, there's more coming. Take this moment to reload. They're gonna be here in a second. Give it a moment. Really taking their due sweet time. I'm in danger. Okay. Okay, missed. Oh, God. One of these will hit. Got him. Look at me being invisible. Where's the other one? Get over here. Doggone it. I'm just standing in one spot shooting ghouls. What has my life become? All right, so now that I have systematically killed a stack of these guys, they're not even scary. I mean, like, they're they're so easy to kill. Hairbrush. I just took a hairbrush. But now I've done all of that, and the big one, which I guess was the difficult one, was over here. He had a toy car. Okay. Unlock. There we go. All right. So that gets us in. Open security door. So I, I did it. Deacon? Deacon, what's wrong with your leg? No, no, that was odd. Okay, so there is a secret lab here. And apparently that's what these uh, things were for. There is a certain order that you can walk through them. And it will actually open the door so you don't need the password. That's really interesting. But we're here, so we can go in and get them. We complete the Diamond City Blues? Um... Um... They don't know I'm here. Deacon? Uh... What, what, what do we... Oh, this is awkward. What do you want to do? You want to just stand up? What? <laughs> Someone didn't like that very much, did they? Uh, uh, uh. You want some of this? You want some of this? Well, this, uh, this is honestly, I feel like this has been probably the weirdest quest. This has been honestly probably the weirdest quest so far. Like, the, the, the circumstances surrounding it were strange, now we're in a strange location with... ...people wearing hazmat suits, working on all this junk. Seriously, one of the strangest quests, and everything surrounding it was weird, too. Buff out. Uh, Psycho. Some of this stuff is worth some money. You had some ammo. And a flask, if you want a flask. I mean, like, there's so much death. Like, very unnecessary death. ...from this mission. All these people, like, die- they didn't even have to die! And it was all really because of Cook. And I think what's so funny is that Cook ended up... ...getting killed. Like, he was the one that was like, oh, we'll go rob these guys. And then everything was fine, Trish was gonna leave... ...but he was like, no, I'm gonna kill her. And then he died. I don't know, the, the whole thing is just really bizarre to me, and I'm not really sure. <laughs> I guess there was just a lot of different outcomes for it. We have, like, an eyewash station over here. What is this? Terminal? Okay, so that takes us to the fish packing plant. Just oil can, gas canisters... I don't really need all this stuff. Also, they said that... I'm a little confused. They said that there was, like, a ton of, um... ...chems here. But there's not. I think Trish did lie to us. Like, there's some... ...but there's really not that many. There's a lot of stuff to make chems, but there's not chems. Like, there are very, very few actually here. But there's some Abraxo cleaner, so I'll give her a pass. <laughs> I will not hunt her down. Although she's probably, like, not... I probably won't even be able to find her if I was looking for her anymore. So is there anything on the computer? No, the computer's also... Computer's also empty. Wow. So that's it then. 
I did it. The weirdest, the weirdest quest ever. I completed. At least I got experience for doing it. Alright, so this has to be opened with this terminal. Now let's check this out. Remote door control, unlock door. So this will take us to the fish packing plant. I'm really curious where this thing comes out at. Okay, so we are... Oh... It just drops you off way above everything, and it would have been impossible to get here? I mean, unless you had, like, the jetpack or something? Interesting. Alright, well, there's no reason to continue looking through stuff in here, because we have been here. But, uh, very interesting quest. Alright, I'm gonna go back to Sanctuary to drop off all of these drugs. And then we're gonna get started on something else. Good night, sweetheart! Boom! You're not dead, but, I mean, you're, you're gonna be dead in a sec. Now you're dead, probably. Yeah, you're dead. Woo-wee! Is that it? That is not it. There's still something here. Something has survived. Okay, this thing has gotta go. Thank you very much. Come on, Grit, thank you. There's quite a few people here that want to play with us. By the way, I'm starting Butcher's Bill. I've had a few requests to do that. God, a gunner, Major Gutsy. That's, um... That's not very exciting. You want some of this, buddy? Come get some, pal. Come on, you piece of crap. I remember when I used to be scared of the likes of you. Now you ain't nothing! You just a chump after I reload this gun. Then you will be a chump. Oh, my, you broke my arm. God, yeah, we're working on a railroad quest. Jesus. Can I shoot? Yeah, there we go. Just let me reload it. Give me a sec. The, the gunner could be a problem. I need to throw some, uh... There we go. Is that... Which one is that? Oh, it's Molotov. Eh, whatever. That does some damage. I'm only down to two of those. I think I have a ton of, um... I believe I have a ton of frag grenades I should probably equip and start using. There we are. Eat that and die, pal. Uh, can we set this thing on fire? I don't know. Let's throw it over there. You're doing great. Good job, Deacon. Come on. Ugh. Get that thing, Deacon. Has he got it? Okay, then. Well. That was fun. I went back to Sanctuary. Oh, there's still more gunners. Went back to the sanctuary and I, uh, I did drop off all that stuff. I also decided to go ahead and rename that uh, big boy, the big fat man. I named it Fat Albert, because I thought that was a, a really clever, fun little name for it. Is there anything else in here? A magnifying glass! Sure. This guy melted. Or combat shotgun, nothing else of interest in here. Um, so where we are, just to show you guys what I'm looking at here on our data, is Butcher's Bill. Go to the dead drop. Since the fall of Switchboard, the railroad's been picking up the pieces. Carrington is sending me to check the status of Augusta Safe House. The details will be at another dead drop. Um, it's a it's a railroad mission, and Deacon tends to like those, being a part of the railroad. So I figured it's probably a good chance to go ahead and do that. And like I said, there have been a few people that have requested that. There's people up there. Maybe I'll go up and just shoot them with my gun bullets. Of course, I guess it doesn't count as a gun bullet. Because I have... It's a gun shockwave? I don't know what this thing qualifies as. Someone's up here, right? Where are they at? Oh, they're still up there. Oh, I can't get that high. I'd have to, like, walk in a building or something, probably. Oh, wait, no, you're up here. You are up here, somewhere. Where are you at? Seriously, where are you? You're on the same level. It doesn't say you're and you're no longer above me. Weird. I don't actually know where he is. But there's, um... There's a bunch of places to walk around up here. And I can... I can tell he's this direction, but I'm also starting to hear different gunfire now. So I'm just like, you know what? Screw this. I don't want to deal with all this. Where I'm supposed to be going is down there. Can I drop to that safely? I can drop on this. There we go. Good stuff. Get some ammo here. Alright. Uh, let's proceed this direction. 
Because this is the direction of the quest. It is outside. So I shouldn't have to... Shouldn't have to go in a location. Just walk on top of all this crap. Can I climb this? Uh, sorta. What's up here? Interesting. A free stim pack and some ammo. It's pretty neat. Um... I don't think there's any other way for me to go. Alright, let's drop back down. Just wandering around shooting everybody. Oh! Can finally see the marker. We're going the right way. There it is! Okay. Medical Center Metro. I've also leveled up twice. Which I'm excited about. Okay, so we need to go ahead and determine the status of the Augusta Safe House by listening... ...to... ...this... ...Augusta report. Alright. Augusta is still dark. Location enclosed. Exercise extreme caution. Oh, that was it. <laughs> okay, uh, and that shows us what? Uh, if we go back down to Butcher's Bill... At the dead drop, I received the location of Augusta's safe house. Augusta's been dark for a long time, so who knows what to expect there. It's basically something terrible. It's, uh, over here by the Collegiate Administration Building. And quite honestly, it is way too far to walk. So that's where we're going to warp from here. Alright, so we've got... ...some sort of robot. It's just a normal Protectron. We're next to a red rocket. I'm gonna be honest, I don't recall ever being here, but we have apparently been here before. Which is weird. Huh, I don't know if we've ever been in there. Because it doesn't seem familiar. This entire area doesn't really seem familiar. There's just a Protectron walking around. We're right next to a red rocket. Weird. There's a button that probably controls... Maybe this? This door still works. Huh, is there anything back here? Not really. Um... Some duct tape. Oh, a cap stash. And someone threw a gun in a toilet. It's not where guns go. You need a gun hey, rack. You called? No, I didn't. I, no, I'm, I'm, just, I'm trying to open a door. Excuse me. You good? Okay. Um, hmm. Alright, well. This is weird. I don't remember being over here. I mean, clearly I was. But uh, I don't have any memory of it. Must have been a while ago. Hey, buddy. Protect and serve. Man, you're, um... Pulling some Michael Jackson moves, aren't you? Oh, have fun. Uh, let's continue to walk this way. A hundred meters out from where we need to go. Still plenty of undiscovered locations around as well. Might be a Nuka Cherry plant around or something? Oh, it's a bar. Oh, I see. There's a s smiling Larry. Okay, so there's a, uh, a caravan around here. What do you sell? <clears throat> you looking to trade? Smiling Larry's got what you want. Would you be interested in working for me? I have a place you could set up shop. I do? What? I didn't know I had a place I could set up shop. I didn't know that was a thing. Smiling Larry is confused. Do you want to trade or not? Let's trade. Smiling Larry has what you need, guaranteed. Let me see what you sell first, but then let me see if I can send you somewhere. I didn't actually really know I could do that. Um, weapons. You don't have anything interesting. Hey, junk. Hmm. You don't really have anything I want, but you can- hey, you could you stay with me. Would you be interested in working for me? I have a place you could set up shop. Let's see if I can just- I don't know, this is weird. Let's see if it'll let me send him to Sanctuary. That sounds good to smile on Larry. You have yourself a deal. Um... Okay. Oh. I get paid to keep Larry alive, not to chat with the likes of you. Okay, no, no, you're fine. That's weird, I didn't know I could do that. I don't know if I've ever had the option before. Very strange. Alright, let's keep walking around. Never know what you're gonna run into on the streets. Uh, things seem pretty safe. No ghouls, no nothing. 
What is this? Union's Hope Cathedral. Huh. It's an unmarked location. Oh, there's something bad around. Hmm. This isn't on the map, and a lot of times the unmarked locations are pretty interesting. Yeah, we're not in a rush. Let's go check it out. Um... There's shooting going on. Father Gabe. Uh, what the balls? I think Father Gabe just got killed, actually. What's up, friend? Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Uh, let's go for... Man, he can jump. Careful, Deacon. Jesus, ten rats. Uh, Deacon? Deacon? Woo! Huh. Okay, so this is just a, uh... A ghoul playground. Father Gabe was actually marked hostile when we walked in, which is strange. Stimpak bobby pin. Burnt book. Pastor's vestments, yes! Sorry to leave you, uh... In this shape, but now, now I can, I can look like a priest. Dirty water, sleeping bag. Huh. Anything else of interest in here? Fusion cores? A plate? <laughs> a beautiful plate? Okay, you guys had fun. There's an army helmet in here. Hmm. Looks like everything else is kind of collapsed. There's a room off to the side. Maybe a few rooms. Got that. Can't get in there. And that actually takes us back outside, so we could use that to leave. Is that... Is that it? That actually might be it. Huh. You know, I actually wonder... I wonder if it's possible to... If you were fast enough when you walked in, if you could kill the ghouls... ...before they killed Father Gabe. That would be really interesting. Someone will have to, you know, see if they can find that out. Because technically he was alive, and... I wonder if he would still be marked as hostile. I wonder how the game would figure that out. Anyway, um... Well, that was a short little location. It allowed us to get the pastor's vestments, if nothing else. Let's, uh, let's go out this door. Should be able to get this open with... ...relatively little trouble. Sweet. Okay, Deacon liked that. Because Deacon likes that sort of thing. There's some ghouls wandering around out here. Which I should have known. What, what are they? Yeah, they actually need to be, uh... ...hit with, uh... ...normal guns. Coming my way? You know, ammo isn't cheap. They just pay you to play dead? Oh god. Oh jeez. Scare that, doesn't it? Oh lord, ow, 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 there's gonna be a lot of you. Alright, let's deal with this one at a time. One for you. One for you. Boom. Boom. Still dealing with that? I gotcha. You are welcome, Deacon. There's been a lot of people saying lately that Deacon seems like he's the new Feindle. I, uh, oh god, Jesus, I agree. I totally agree. Um, of all of the characters that we've seen thus far, Deacon... Deacon is a little out there. He truly is. Um, I think that he's a, a fitting replacement for Feindle. Aren't ya? Heads up. Sure. I can help you out. Hi. Yeah, boss. What is it? Your thoughts? Hey, I could be a synth. I could be the best damn synth that ever synthed. Good to know. Your thoughts? I'm convincing the next raw recruit that I'm actually President Eden. Think I can pull it off? Your thoughts? I really want to know how the big one started. What idiot fired first? Why? What the hell did they think they'd gain? That was all. Another time. Good guy, Deacon. Alright. We're still not there yet. We're in some sort of, uh, cemetery next to this cathedral. There's a little, um... Honestly, there's, there's little unmarked locations are sometimes some of the most fun. Sometimes they have lore exclusive to them, but even that, like... Pastor Gabe in there, like, that... That was, uh... An interesting question, too, you know? Like, 
well, why would how did he survive that long like he was just in the process of getting overrun with uh with ghouls that doesn't seem so good does it good lord uh let's see what do we got out here Kendall Hospital wait a minute is this the one with the parking grot oh no we oh we stirred up the hive there's a there's a place that I've been oh they're bloat flies oh that's not bad um, he clipped through the wall. So I can't shoot him. <laughs> um, how am I supposed to deal with him? He's, he's, he's literally stuck in the wall. Oh, he's, oh, he came out. He came out just to shoot me. Oh, he's so polite. Yeah, there was a, there's a place, um, there was a hospital, and across the street was a parking garage, and I wrote it down, because people wanted me to go see it. Uh, we just haven't done it yet. It's something that we're going to do, but I don't know if this is it or not. I think it's in a different location. There's some enemy around. Let's see if we can find him. This might be the parking garage? I mean, it, it is a parking garage, and we are next to a hospital. But also, we just discovered this hospital, and... I'm pretty sure it was a hospital we had seen before. Here's an exit. That is clearly not an exit. Nothing around here. Let's, uh, let's... Oh, hi there, friend. How are you doing? Get out of here. The only bugs that are scary anymore are, um... Legendary ones. And if you, if you come across, like, a big legendary one, those can be a little frightening. But otherwise, they're, they're easy peasy. I'm gonna keep going up and see if there's anything in here. Kinda weird if there's not. Just a bunch of garb. I mean, it is Fallout, so you're gonna find garbage, but it's just strange. Let's see where the top goes out to. Just some cars. You can see some lights out in the distance. Pretty clear night. Some bodies down there. And there's the bloat fly. Get out of here. I think that bullet flew at an angle. <laughs> Not really sure how that worked out. Huh. Oh, there's the other one. Hi, buddy. Managed to get him, too. Well... I feel pretty happy with everything, Deacon. I really do. It's been a weird episode, but we're finally getting to, uh... getting to a place to work on Butcher's Bill. That door's... Sadly, all boarded up, or we would go in there. Now we do have um, we do have two perks to to utilize, and I've already decided I want to use them both on science because our science is actually um, our science is only a two, and it can go up to a four, and it's kind of like the last skill, in my opinion, that we really need to raise. Like once we once we bring our science up, there's no other skills that's like really pressing that we need to get. Everything else at that point is just fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, put a rank into science and another rank into science. That takes care of the perks. It takes care of science. At this point, there's nothing that we really need to be able to do certain things. We could just get whatever we want. Um, I guess you could argue that we need it for like, uh, uh, what is it? Yeah, for melee mods, but we haven't been doing those, so by the time we start using them, we should have the perks necessary, so... We're in pretty good shape. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Uh, this seems like a good stopping point. Next episode, we'll pick up, uh, on this quest, and we will work on Butcher's Bill. And, you know, I, I hope, I'm assuming, that we're getting pretty close to gaining the necessary affinity for Deacon, who is currently running into a tree and then disappeared. Where did he go? Oh. Yeah. Just, just walk nonchalantly like that never happened. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time for more Steven Plays. Fallout 4.